Bradford. In fact, one day he had back-to-back -back -back maximums against me. That's how good he was. It's the best of nine frames. The first of five will have a mid-session interval after four frames. And they're playing for a place in the last 32 in a meeting with Anthony Hamilton. Yes, James Watson out, trying to stay on the tour. As Philip said, he's number 59 in the world. And this will have done him some good qualifying for this event. But he's, he's treading treacherously close to falling off the tour. Top 50, 64, exempt from playing in the qualifying program. Well, that safety from Judd Trump, just a little short of the bulk cushion. He was a fantastic long ball potter at one time, James Watanap. I talked to him just before he went out to play, and he said he's starting to enjoy his game again. Well, he'll have to play better than that. Caught that safety shot much too thick. That was an easy safety shot for James to play there. And you could call that a let off. You expect Judd Trump to pot everything he goes for, or at least I do. He didn't play particularly well in the last tournament, Tall. the Masters. Well, he's just called a foul on himself, James Watanart. Reaching over to cue the white ball. Just touch one of the colours. So, not a good start for James Watanart so far. He's gone in off, and he's fouled. Yes, Trump, as Joe mentioned, will be keen to get back on track. He's had a couple of disappointing results at both the UK Championship in December, where at the time, of course, he was defending champion and world number one, a position he lost to Mark Selby, who went on to win that title. And a very below-par display in the first round of the Masters. So a couple of reverses, which may have knocked Trump's confidence a little. He'd love an extended run here in Berlin. Well, how close was that? But it stayed on the lip of the pocket. Played it with some safety in mind, knowing full well that he was going to be on the pink had it dropped. <laughs> Clever shot he played there. I'm not sure what James can play here. Now have to just play a negative safety shot, just roll into the pack. Well, he's thinking of going off the side cushion and trying to knock the red in, but very dangerous to play that shot. If he's going to play that, he may as well go in and out of balk and try and pot the red. But again, he would have to play it with some side on the cue ball, and always more difficult when you're playing with side. Well, here we go. It was a long way out, and that was just the side on the cue ball. Just got too much right-hand side on the cue ball.
One. Nicely on the black. And if you can just nudge the red away from the black, clear that area. Played it well. Players were telling me that the tip in the match table is super fast. Only have to touch the cue ball, put the slightest bit of bottom on, and it comes back like magic. Good the team. top players, of course, will be used to playing on these type of cloths. And the TV lighting. 15. James White, and now it's been some time. Now, Judd Trump's got nicely onto the black, and he's opened a few more reds. This pair have met three times before Trump having won all three of them. But that man back in the day, tremendous break builder, 155 centuries, three ranking titles, two of which were won in his native Thailand, the Thailand Masters, and three professional competitive 147 breaks. Joe mentioned the couple he made in practice against him. Well, he made the fourth ever televised maximum. That was way back in 1992 at the British Open. Gives you some idea, though, about the class of Watanart. Twice a crucible semi-finalist. But clearly with his work cut out this evening against this man, Yes, he's going to have to play well, Philip, that's for sure. And he hasn't started off well. He needs a good, easy opening chance, and he's not going to get it this frame, I fear. 63 points in front, so still needs a couple of reds. Forced that cue ball through those reds there to finish on to the black. Lots of top on the cue ball. What a touch. And this red just to make sure. fluent start here from the world number two. A frame long since one. The only question now, whether he can add to his season tally of 48 century breaks. 48 centuries, eh? Amazing. It's still a lot of snooker to be played this season, Jack. I was just going to say. 19. 
91. Just dropped in off the far jaw, so he's looking good now for the three-figure break. Well, he could have made sure of the century simply by playing for that loose red. And he's on now. Trump, one of those players who had his best in full flow, capable of making the game look ridiculously easy. Well, that's not a bad start, is it? <laughs> Making a century in his very first frame. Just what the crowd wanted. And Judd Trump. Nothing that man can do about this from Trump, except refocus, think about frame two. Just under hit that one slightly. Added incentive here for Trump if he does clear the table. Break of 141. That would set the new mark for the highest break. Currently held by Rob Milkins. 123. He's made 140 in his match in the last 64. It's going to be 153 nil, Philip. Thanks to the foul strokes. Terrific break. Magnificent stuff from Judd Trump. What a statement of intent from the reigning international champion. A break of 141. The highest.